My name is Jamran. I'm 26 years old now. Before, when I used drugs, I was suffering and hopeless in my life. The last time I used drugs, I woke up in the hospital. I thought that I already died. I was 22 years old. My pay died. Go broke back him. Pay. Job crung in. Top mall. Go broke back him. Smoke him running. Pay the cake pry. Look him chung jay tag. Mun pay. Mun pay the cake job crung in. The pip cam on gay. The honor. Pay can I. ตัวอายุประหารเจียดับลำเปิลดับประมวยฉน้ำเกย์ตายแต่กึศปีเรื่องจีพีบขนมครัวซาเกย์ตายแต่ในเจียธาขย่มทอมเตอร์ขย่ม
The program for drug addicts was four months, but the police showed the change in my life and let me go out early. After three months and three days, this was 2008, when I started volunteering at the drug rehab two days a week with Pastor Noel to, en to encourage others there to follow Jesus also. At the same time, I also volunteered at Red Cross as a teacher to talk about the dangers of drugs. Sometimes I spoke at high school to hundreds of students. Red Cross paid me to talk to any drugs addicts in the community who want to change their life. I did all of this for two years. About six months later, I came out of drug rehab. I was invited to speak at the International Drug Awareness Week event in Simrip. There were many officials, police, and government organizations there, and about 1,500 people from the public attended. It was filmed for television. I gave my story about how my life was changed and how other young people can say no to drugs. After this, the provincial office called me to ask if I had finished high school. I said yes. Then they asked me if I would like to study at university. In January 2010, I started studying civil engineering. Soon after this, a missionary, my dream that God has put in me is to start a training center to help drug addicts learn skill to get a job and give their heart to Jesus and will be completely changed. Emmanuel is a godly young man who wants God's plan for his life. Emmanuel was a drug addict and has since come out of that and is now pursuing a career at university. He wants to be, to be a civil engineer, but he wants to be used by God. He wants to be able to rescue drug addicts and he wants to see them come to know Jesus Christ. Emmanuel's in his third year in Phnom Penh. He is having a difficult life as a student. He has to pedal each day to his lecturer's house for tutorials and then back to university. But he is a man that's motivated. He's a man that's got a plan. And he wants God's best for his life. He's, uh, he's willing to continue to study uh, and complete his course and then let God continue to guide his life. Just like in the verse in the Bible, Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, 
It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And we always have to remember that wherever we are, uh, we have to, to shine Jesus in our lives because uh, Jesus is the true light that shines to us and it reflects to us and then we reflect it to people. And uh, like uh, my, uh, one of my students who is in a drug rehab, who uh, I share the gospel, share Jesus to him, and he's able to catch that, uh, that word that uh, he speaks to his heart, to his uh, life, that Jesus is now is the center of his life, that changes life. Now he's, uh, we are together working. Uh, if you can remember uh, how when we start in this community, that he is uh, here to 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 encourage me and to inspire me that uh, he is already uh, he knows God already and he's in his heart. There is Jesus in his heart, and uh, his name is uh, Chumran before and now. He when he has Jesus in his life now, uh, he's Emmanuel. He wants that name, Emmanuel, because God is with, with us and uh, with him. Yeah, so uh, here we are and uh, we partner and then uh, that's how God uh, connect us together and uh, brought us together to help this uh, Cambodian to know Jesus Christ. I'm very thankful to God that He saved me and He has put the new heart in my life and he changed me and made me joy in this village and make joy in his work and thankful for my teacher that he spent time so much to to um, follow up you know, 